In this tutorial, you'll learn how to virtually control your Raspberry Pi through another computer. This can be really useful if you don't have a spare monitor, keyboard, and mouse lying around. We're going to do this in two ways. First, using the Secure Shell, or SSH, which lets you control the Raspberry Pi through the terminal of another computer. And after, we're going to use the Virtual Network Computing, or VNC, which actually gives you a whole virtual graphical user interface, or GUI, uh, for your Raspberry Pi on your other computer. Before starting this tutorial, make sure that you have the following. Number one, a Raspberry Pi with an SD card. Any model of the Pi, B, B+, or 2, will work. Number two, an Ethernet cable. Your Pi and your computer will need to be on the same network for this tutorial to work. The last thing you'll need is a way to power your Pi. I'm using a standard wall adapter. The setup you'll want at this point is to plug your Raspberry Pi into your computer using your Ethernet cable and to also power up your Raspberry Pi by plugging it into the wall. To be able to SSH into your Pi, if you're on a Windows machine, your computer has to run Bonjour and Putty. For instructions on installing these two pieces of software, see the written tutorial. Once you've done that, we can SSH into your Pi. To do this, you'll have to access the terminal on your computer. On a Mac, like mine, you'll want to go to Utilities and then open the terminal. You should see a window pop up like the one on my screen. You can type in ssh space pi at raspberrypi.local. This is the permanent IP address of the Raspberry Pi and it's assigned on the Dexter Industries image that's on your SD card. After you type that in and hit enter, if everything's working properly and your Pi and your computer are successfully on the same network, it should prompt you for a password. Type in Raspberry and hit enter. You may have to wait a few seconds, but your screen should then appear like mine. And instead of seeing the name of your username on the computer appear in the terminal like you did before, you should see something like Raspberry Pi. Now you're accessing your Raspberry Pi's contents with your computer. You're in. A good first command to type in is ls. This will just cause your Raspberry Pi to spit back all of the contents of its main menu. This command is a good way to confirm that you've done everything properly and you're in. If you're used to programming in the terminal, you're all set and you can go ahead. If you're not, definitely check out some resources online or keep watching to hear about accessing the Pi with a visual interface using the VNC. To access your Pi using the VNC viewer, you first have to download the software. For instructions on doing that, see the written tutorial. Once you've installed the viewer, all you have to do is run it. Double click on its icon and you should see the following screen. Type in raspberrypi.local colon one and click connect. You should be prompted to input a password. Type in Raspberry and click OK. If everything is working, you should see the virtual interface pop up and you're all set. Now you're ready to use Scratch, program in Python, or do any of your other Raspberry Pi projects.